Hello, I'm Sarah Masters and I'm the clarinetist with the Kuanta Symphonia and I'm also the orchestral manager which means that I book and organise the players for the orchestra uh, for Kuanta's summer opera productions which we put on every July. I've been doing this for many years and uh, traditionally at Kuanta we put on um, performances of the very well-known popular operas in the repertoire. Puccini, Mozart, Verdi, Rossini, um, which ordinarily would be performed by large orchestras of 60 plus players. However, at Klonta, um, our symphonia is very small. We range from sort of 12 to 14 players, um, depending on which opera we're doing, which means that um, we are always playing a reduction, an arrangement of this bigger orchestral score, um, which is always uh, fun and interesting way to perform these large works. Um, we have to approach it in a sort of different way, a more of a kind of chamber um, mentality. Um, and as I'm sure you can imagine, it does present its, its challenges to doing the operas in this way, but it's always been very um, fun and enjoyable and rewarding for us to try and um, perform these works in a slightly different way. However, this year we had the absolute joy and pleasure of performing Benjamin Britten's Albert Herring. And this piece is already written for um, a small chamber orchestra of 12 players. So for us um, in the Quanta Symphonia, it was absolutely perfect. Um, and we enjoyed doing this very much. Um, it is very different when you're playing the actual parts written for each instrument. And the way that Britten writes um, his music, particularly in this opera, it's so full of character and fun and so expressive and melodic. And the way that Britten writes um, for every single individual instrument in this 12, small 12 piece orchestra is so sort of unique and special for that very specific instrument. And it's very soloistic and every part is very challenging in its own unique way. And therefore the music is just has so much color and so much life. Um, and it was a real musical challenge for us, but um, I know that I speak for the entire symphonia when I say that it was an absolute musical highlight for us to get to play this piece of music. Um, and we enjoyed it very much. And so looking forwards to the future, we very much hope that we will be able to find um, similar such repertoire um, for um, a small chamber orchestra rather than having to do the reductions that we have done in the past. So watch this space and we'll see what we will be doing next time. Bye.